What's up, boys and gals? Um, today we'll be reviewing the Imperial Shuttle LEGO Star Wars set from 2020, and it retails for about $80 and had 660 pieces. Set number is 75302, and it comes with three minifigs. And for what it is, it's way overpriced. I do not think you can call the Justifier one of the most overpriced sets in LEGO Star Wars, if you um, know what this is. This LEGO set is severely lacking in the minifig department, especially for that $80 price point. I'd have liked to have gotten a Stormtrooper or uh, the Admiral from the scene. We don't get any of that. Um, we don't... We don't get any scout troopers either, which is really just a big bummer. We do get a Luke Skywalker with the old Lego hair. You can even see the little uh, curves there. And he, he looks pretty nice. Focus camera. And he has handcuffs and his green lightsaber, which is alright. We also have a um, pilot or officer. He goes by many names. He, he comes with a little pistol and everything. He, he's not a bad minifig. It's just this set's not for army building. And worst part is it's a shuttle. It should be meant for army building. I don't feel a need to get another one of these. And that's really unfortunate. And here we have Darth Vader. Really nice Darth Vader. You have um, his episode 6 appearance, other than, and um, he comes with a two part helmet, which a lot of people think is oversized. I personally like this helmet, which may be might be controversial. He comes with a nice cape and everything. And these are all, it's a pretty good minifig selection, however, it's not the best. And we could have gotten. Um, a stormtrooper, a droid, a pro imperial protocol droid, the admiral from the scene. I think it was, um, I forget the admiral's name. We could have gotten um, scout troopers. Heck, we could have even gotten an Emperor Palpatine or Royal Guard in this. So it's kind of, it's kind of unfortunate that we only got that right there, the three minifigs. And the build is rather lackluster for a lot of people, myself included. Um, I would have preferred something a lot bigger that could actually carry more troops than what it can carry. Move these out of the way. Uh, hang on, not going to show that off yet. So, looking at the build first before we take a look at anything else. Um, it's a pretty okay build, like, fr from here... And here is all right. Um, I wish they would have done a little bit more than to this, making maybe make this bigger. I see the engineering and what they attempted, but it's not the best. Um, personally, I'm not gonna buy another one of these. I don't feel the need to have one of these sealed. Granted, a lot of people are harder, really hard on this set, and I think a lot of that is unwarranted because. This is the first shuttle we've gotten in quite some time. Um, it's got a lot of guns on it. It's got some two stud shooters that fire off green studs. I'm not going to shoot those off because I'm pretty sure you already know how those work. Um, it's very white. And um, there's just not a lot going on, especially on the underside of these wings. They didn't even try to mimic this. Which is understandable. On the back, which actually looks pretty impressive, I like the look of this. There's no boarding ramp, even a false one like we've had on a bunch of different sets like the um, Ewing. We even had one. Of, we even had a false ramp on the microfighter. There's just no reason that shouldn't have been included. Um, let me raise the camera up so I can show how it works. Move away, lamp. So, of course, you have it in its landing position, and you might want to 
just fold down the wings. They are on these nice soft ratchet joints. Oh, thank you for falling, uh, light. And that looks pretty uh, nice. It's really cool. Uh, very hard to display it in this way because it doesn't come with a stand. Of course, you can always make your own. I'm not going to do that. I like store it in mine in the landing position, but it is yours. Do what you want with it. Um, this is very sturdy. You don't have to worry about it breaking. There's a lot of Technic built in. Um, I wouldn't hold it like this, but it is possible. And um, that's it in its flying mode. So let's take a look in the interior. And there's two interiors you can access. You can access the uh, cockpit. Um, I'm not a fan of the cockpit, uh, simply because if it should if it goes in space, I should not be able to see the floor through it. So, raise my camera up a bit. So that's him in the cockpit, which is all right. Um, I like I like what they went for. However, this just doesn't work. It doesn't lock it in place. I mean, you can do that, and then it sort of does what it wants with its job, but for the most part, it just doesn't. You, um, you can take the lightsabers off, put Luke in a seated position, come on, work with me, oh, it's his arms, and then you can uh, store his lightsaber right there. And yeah, that's Luke in there. And then you can also take Darth Vader. Seed him in there. And put his lightsaber hilt in there. With them. And yeah, that's all well and good. They can have that father and son talk. But that's all you can do without modifying the set. Which I can understand a lot of people doing just to hold more troops. Um, because two people as mock maximum occupancy in what is basically a landing craft is kind of bad. And it can close up. You don't have to adjust their heads. You don't have to adjust their positions to try and make them fit. So they do fit pretty well in there, and that's a nice conglomeration. I can say that, for the most part, this does look good on display. However... I would wait until it's um, on sale if you want to pick this up. Um, I believe this set is retiring soon. So if you do want to pick this set up, you should probably do it now. Uh, granted, I don't see this rising up in price too high uh, because this set just wasn't well received. However, I wouldn't knock on it too much though. It is an Imperial shuttle and it's not something we get too often. Um, I would like some more Imperial vehicles. I do know we have the TIE Bomber coming out pretty soon, and I am stoked for that. So I'll see you all in the next video. If you want to um, leave a donation or help in any way, or just send me a video idea, um, my email will be in the description. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.